What's up guys? It is Brent back here. And we're going back into some more Slay the Spire Downfall of Runa. So, last time. I remember it being a very tiring day. And we did the Gremlins. I'm going to cheat and do the Gremlins again because they are my favorite. And if I remember right, I was not too happy with the performance. Um, it's actually Friday. Uh, I feel great because I'm not at work today. Um, so, uh, this is what I felt like doing. So we're going to go into here. Um, we are in the Exorbrium, so we did not get the Runa path for this first start, which is fine. This is uh, a little different, um, so we will not be getting the bucket. Um, that being said, rare card to start off with is pretty dang tempting. I think that is what I'm going to go with. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Unforgiving does seem like the best one. Um, Nob, as much as I want to be excited for it, we tried it, and it's just not as good. Um, if the gremlin also gave you a buffer as you did it, like when the gremlin dies, um, the um, gremlin that it, like the smaller gremlin that it inhabited, um, came back, it would be much better for a four cost card. Uh, the fact that if the gremlin knob dies the smaller gremlin also dies uh, makes it a lot less appealing uh the effects for the gremlin knob just aren't as good as being able to build a whole deck around other effects unforgiving is very good um the fact that you could use your um which gremlin is it the mad gremlin to gain strength every time someone attacks you is awesome a duplicate takes out exhaust Make two echoes of an attack in your hand that cost one less. This can be very good for like pinprick, stuff that already generates echoes to attack a bunch with sneaky gremlin. And I don't think I've ever done that before. I think I'm going to try duplicate. It's something I've not messed with as much. So I'm a little bit more inclined to give it a try. Uh, bonfire at the beginning is always very nice. Late line, late line two shops if we want it. No elites though. It looks like the most we can get is there's a three elite path, but it's just not as good. Um, also, cutting to the middle, we can get one elite and a late line question mark kind of path and a bunch of rest. I think I'm going to go with that. Getting the shops is pretty good, but I think I'm going to steer away from it to start with. Also, let me fix my mic a little bit. Um, let's see we go. Oh, Vitrine, not very good. Remove a card from your deck. You may shuffle into your draw pile. Um, just not great. I'm going to throw a basic strike in there to start with. Gremlin Dance is almost a strike in a way. So, let's start with that. Alright, um, we are the Gremlin Wizard to start with. Duplicate is in our hand. We can duplicate the strike and have a bunch of strikes to attack. Actually, we can uh, duplicate Gremlin Dance. And get a bunch of value out of that. Yeah. Defend first to block this. Uh, duplicate the Gremlin Dance. So we're going to get a bunch of whiz here. We are going to take a tiny bit of damage. Um, oh, we got... Why did we get one back? Because we played the defend and... Place two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we start with four because of uh, Mob Leader Staff. Um... Can I take a... Yeah, I can take advantage of that. Give me Shield Gremlin. Gremlin Dance here. Oh, just kills him because of all the whiz. I was trying to math it out, but... Let's see. Follow through Temporary Strength is pretty nice. Um, two Temporary Strength is even better. Uh, love and Damage, too. Patsy's also pretty tempting. Um, switching Gremlins is pretty nice. Equipment of shivs and wards. I think follow through though is going to be a little nicer. All right, we have fat gremlin, so we're going to follow through. This is going to provide a lot of weakness, and then we're going to double defend here. One thing I got to keep in mind more when I play these, especially with the Runa mod and stuff activated, um, I don't get as much value. Uh, we need gremlin. Um, I don't get as much value for things that do, I'm trying to talk. Um, it's, it's not even early in the morning, it's almost one o'clock. 
out of stuff that does damage to my character. Usually you can eat a lot of that damage, uh, especially from the um, Runa cards, because you have a good enough HP. You can't do that here. And stuff that like hurts us is not as good just because it's gonna kill us quicker. Um, all through here. Again. All right, raid I do like. I draw. Uh, two discard two random cards. So with five we draw five. Discard two. It's a plus three. Well, plus two in card advantage, pretty much. I've been watching a lot of card-based shows on YouTube, um, and it definitely carries over. I think Glitter Guard's gonna end up being better. Having a way to get to Shield Gremlin, it's just nice. Um, provides a lot of advantage um, that you can't always get. I am going to take the doubt this time. Not always something I would do, but I think I'm okay with it for this one specifically. Um, yours is AoE. I do like that. So we're going to Gremlin Dance here. And then we're going to do six to all. Can I kill you? I have 12 damage in hand. Yes. If I go to... Sneaky, this gives an additional six to my attack. Oh, um, he's down to one. Close, but no cigar. And the doubt. Math is a little bit off. I think we're okay. Elixir is not bad. Cat Scratch is good, but for getting more strength. Bulk Up is also good. I, I'd be okay with either of these. I think Cat Scratch is a more of a payoff currently. I'm gonna take that. Duplicate, not exhausting. This is our kind of our power card. So let's upgrade that to start with. I want to go for this elite here. I also want all those question marks. Regal pillow. Okay. Whenever you rest more healing. I don't think that really helps us. Is it beef? Every gremlin. Plus 15. And resurrect one. I don't think I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if that gives one gremlin plus 15 or they all get that. Like, is it a full heal? We're gonna follow through here. Makes our cat scratch a little better. Remove a card. Let's remove that doubt. Is the best card removal. Hundred souls would have been fine, but we don't have a shop coming through. Ooh, this is a good one. So this is kind of like kind of best case when you're doing something like this. So each one gives you a bunch of strength. Um, the question is, can I kill fifteen? Yes. So plus six strength. Just for playing attacks. We just need... Ooh, there's Ickerson Blow. Lock is affected by Wiz here. That's pretty good. But I think we're going... We got a little bit of a strength build here. Strength, copying build, Blue Mage. Alright, uh, 9 coming in. We have a pretty defensive hand. I don't think I need... That. Actually, I want to get into, I think, more cards. We're going to sneak them in here. I'm gonna Gremlin Dance, draw two. There's Duplicate. We're gonna attack. I'll have one energy left and I'll Glitter Guard. So, do this. We will do, yeah, let's get the damage in. Then you Glitter Guard back to this. And we're fully blocked. I think the only thing I'm really missing right now is, um, a way to get into other um, other gremlins besides our uh, one uh, tag team. Honestly, duplicating that would be really good. Okay, that, and we'll get that defense in here. Okay, and we have your attacks are obscured. Pretty annoying. This is an upgraded one, so this is probably our yeah strength card. Six coming in, we'll play one defend, and this is probably just a basic strike. It gets some damage on us. I think we've got this. So we're going to duplicate these. Oh, we got the echoes. Not the ones I was really expecting. Two, ten coming in. Yeah, we need a glitter guard. I want to take more damage. And with shield gremlin, we can really, like, slow play a lot of our damage if we need to. Ooh, that hurt. Um, blah, blah, blah. Whenever you... Oh, whenever you completely block an attack. 
Uh, tag team. Uh, yeah, it has to be sneaky. Do this. Do that. Not too bad. A little bit of damage, not too much. Apply scroll, third turn. So we get this, which adds four shivs and wards. Assortment of them. So I do like that, though. Turn, gain one injury, and strap to the next gremlin. I do like Kong line. It is pretty good. I think I will take it. I have no gremlin right now that's like the hinge pin of our um, plan, so I'm okay with that. And I'm actually really okay with this. We're going to provide a bunch of weakness on turn one to the shopkeep, which will continue out into his big attack turn. Right there's duplicate, Icarus of Blow. Actually, not that good of a hand, but the tag team into the mad gremlin is very good. Um, I should duplicate because I only need to play one defense. So we'll do this. Not, you know, too much value, but it is the use of a card. And there we go, 10 strength. And there's supply scroll. So we'll start with that. Uh, not, not a good pull. Uh, follow through will be next. Cat scratch is really good here. We're going to shiv. We are going to cat scratch for damage. Uh, okay. That's fine. It doesn't really matter which one I'm, I'm playing, so. Alright, he's leaving here. Yes, duplicating. Right, that's the best move. Get as much damage as we can. Alright, and that is it. I guess I could have vitrined and got one more strike in there, but. Not the end of the world. Uh, I do like Trixie. Let's get one of those. Playing a very like loose base deck, so having more ways to get to the different gremlins. Pretty nice. Every time you every time you play seven attacks, gain one artifacting. I like that. That with pinprick, very good. Guidebook's also very nice. I don't know which one I want the most. I can't get them all. The artifacting is gonna be very good to gain strength for all these cards. I think I'm definitely taking makeshift armor. The question is, do I want Guidebook or do I want Pinprick? Pinprick is not a rare. But I think Guidebook to get two upgrades is better. Conga Line and Acres and Blow. I'll take that. I think it was worth the money we spent. Approach. Upgrade a card. Add cards. Um, What do you do if I upgrade you? Gain one artifact and get the start. That seems pretty good. Okay. And since we got all this artifacting, I think we're going to have some other stuff. All right. 10% chance to be cursed with Scatterbrain. 25% chance to find a relic. 15 and 35. 20 and 45. We got the relic. Akabeko. I'll take it. We didn't get like a bunch of Scatterbrains. Sometimes I don't read stuff well enough and I'm like, oh, I've messed up completely here. Um, I'm, I am going to switch to Shield Gremlin. Take a little bit less damage here. Conga line is very good. We're going to defend here. Um, yeah, then we're just going to attack for 19. Might have been better to save the Akobeko technically. For a multi-attack, but that's fine. Um, hmm. I'm going to take a bunch of damage. I don't feel like I'm set up quite yet to um, go into attack yet, so... I'm just going to defend a good amount. Call it there. Okay. Uh, lose two this turn would be a good one. We have no way to get into any strength currently. So let's yeah do this first. Then I'm going to switch. Okay, got some attacks here. Some draw cards. Author is great. Actually, supply scroll first. All wards. That's fine. Actually, we've got the kill. <laughs> I'm doing all the math, like, for what I have, but not for what matters. Had a gremlin offense. So this one just keeps adding another copy of itself to my hand. So as long as I have energy, I can continue to play it. So six damage forever. Or nine damage. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. But is that better than Pinprick, which draws through our deck more? I think so. 
Alright. Hello, my ironclad friend. Okay. Conga line. Cat scratch for a ton of damage here. Slitter guard. Get plenty of block to start off with. Put that shield up. Alright, we are vulnerable and we are weak. Ooh, 20 damage here. Gross. Um, we won't, probably want to go for the weakness, I would say. Yeah. So tag team me into Fat Gremlin. Going to defend. We are going to follow through strike. Make shift armor and we are going to do that. To get the artifacting. Do I want to draw five? Do I really want to take that much? Take 15, which will almost kill this man. You know what? Go ahead and give me this. All terrible. So we'll prolong the weakness and just continue. Ooh, is that good? All right. Fine. We're all two cards, not very great, but this will be good. Oh, this is a good one. All right. Um, shiv, strike, shiv, shiv. Two more attacks this way, which might be better. And we still can play the duplicate. Let's Trixie first. There's a follow through. That's what I like to see. Duplicate the follow through. Gives us a bunch of extra strength. Almost, oh, it does kill him. I was like, it almost kills him. He did. Let's think of the forge. What do we get right now? Fairy dust is very good. Um, erupt. Fine. We're not stacking that much weak. It's between fairy dust and erupt. <laughs> I feel like fairy dust is just a little bit better here. Uh, whenever you play an attack, play the top card of your drop pile if it's attack. Otherwise, discard it. I'm fine with that. I have a pretty attack heavy deck. I'm gonna choose randomly. And we're in the city. Interesting choice. Okay, how healthy. All of our guys did get healed. So it looks like if they're dead. You'll revive one. If not, you get them all healed. I don't know if that was the case last time. I wanted. I knew. I remembered. I wanted to look into look at that though. This time. Here. Uh, I can get a very question mark heavy path, but there's very little elites. Looks like any way I cut it, I can only. I can do two if I go full right, which is not very good. I think I'm gonna go center all the way down. Cut across. Down four question marks, and then we'll go from there. Unless something changes, that seems like the best path for me. Uh, fairy dust seems very good. And I think also offensive will be next. Uh, gain potion relics and three potions. I'm okay with that. Let's punch her. I haven't done this fight in a while, so why not try it out? Uh, conga line here. We are going to glitter guard so we can block, and then we are going to Trixie just to draw some cards. All right. We're switching duplicate on follow through seems very good. It is with wizard, which is not as good, but I cannot change that back. So duplicating this. Hit them a bunch. Oh, and we're playing the top card too. Insane. Again, hit them with this. Offensive here. Yep, and another copy of that. Yeah, Poet's Pen was definitely the right choice. Gonna get a little bit nutty. Um, we didn't get no like strength currently. I'm um, duplicating. It. Let's do this first. One shiv, and then a follow through. We did not get the effect of the follow through. Oh no, we did. We did. I, I lied on that. Uh, tag team. I think we can probably try to wrap this up. Give me sneaky gremlin. Um, let's play the wards out. Get them out of the hand. Duplicate, I guess. You. I mean, it's free. Oh, cat scratch after it. Yeah. Probably got this one. We do. Uh, toy ornithopter for some healing. Souls. Uh, potions are pretty good. Um, and weakness is just. That's better. Resurrected gremlin is probably better than this one. I, I don't think I'm going to take the languish. I need to remember to actually just drink them, but. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Keep the rest of them here. Got two scary bandits here. Um, let's fairy dust first. Seems pretty good. 
Um, I'll tag team into shield to start with. Get some of that going. Nothing here is really good to duplicate, but I, th I guess I still should duplicate Gremlin Dance. Seems like the best one, even for just uh, for the free play with Poet's Pin. But we're not taking anything. That's what I wanted. There's follow through. Pretty good hand here. Um, makeshift. Follow through on this. There we go. Only five damage needed here. I guess I should save, yeah, some of these better ones. Do that. Cat scratch you. Check her some. Alright. Taking 10, which is not as good. But the fact that we get to switch. Seriously, all words. Um, does mean we get a little bit more benefit out of some of our cards. Out of our health pools, too. Kind of evens it out a little bit more. Arm theft. There we go. It's a very good one. Ooh, Kippercorse Dice. Go ahead and drink the Pizzazz Potion. Just because I, I want it gone. Um, I think we can duplicate something better. Let's see. Offensive is not that great. I honestly don't know if I want to... Well, I should Conga Line just to do it. And then... I will defend. That's fine. I could weak, but I don't think I need to. Ugh. Okay. Make sure farmer. Okay, doing some one by three here. Oh, we're just super weak. How much health does he have? I think he's at 12. That should be fine. 7 and 20. Don't want that. Hit them. No damage coming in. I think I will. Well, I'll call it here. I don't want to get into a place where I can't. This is a good one. All right. So we're going to arm theft the back line. We're going to fairy dust here. Hit the front line. Since we have shield, we can do a little bit more. Uh, we're going to continue our, our, our go. Supply scroll here. Yep. Okay. That one is down. Uh, 18 is not great, but... We should still, yeah, even with four more block, we're fine there. Okay. Not too bad. Punk line switch. We have four strength, so let's go with that to start with. Ten damage. This should do it, probably. Yep. Uh, armor tincture's not too bad. Tub snow, ace of snow. Upgraded bang. Bang's really good. But it relies more on whiz. But I guess it also works with strength, technically. Either option, almost. Ooh, shopkeep here. I do like this. Alright. Um. Conga line. Uh, we do have weakness here, so we do want to hit them. I was honestly hoping for a little bit more damage. I can't continue the stack of weak. Hard going into Mad Gremlin, which is what we do want. But we have very little block. I can't get back to Mad Gremlin. Unfortunate. Um, let's armor tincture here. We can do this. And then we can continue to hit them. And gain enough block to um, sustain ourselves. Alright. Yep, and we got plenty there. We'll do the bang just to do it. If we play a card off the top of the deck. And his block's almost gone. And ours rising so 10 strength here uh arm theft is great um one dance is not but arm theft definitely should be played no matter what we do all shivs that's what i like to see played a bunch of free cards with 12 strength okay um i mean we should just duplicate i guess gremlin dance and it is the most they're about all about the same but it is the strongest out of the options we have okay down to 150. I don't know if we can beat him in one turn, but... Oh, oh okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's whiz first. That's five. 83, yeah. Play the top card. We should fairy dust just to see if we get something better. Yep, follow through. And offensive. There we go. 
When we get rolling, we get rolling. Uh, another follow through, definitely a good take. War strength. Oh, anchor. Super nice. Uh, infinite blocks not as good. Tada isn't bad, but it's skills and we're really more for attacks. Energize is better with the poet's pin. Honestly, bandana is also kind of nice. Definitely take an anchor. I will take bandana. Let's do a card removal on just a block. The less stuff I hit like that, the better. And then, evil with ends an attack we can play for free. Let's take it. Honestly, I kind of want to fight more elites now than go for question marks. I feel like we're pretty powerful. And two upgrades. Pretty nice. Yeah, I can't hit it over there. I can get the last two if I cut all the way across. And I get more rest. So let's do that. Go for this far, far left elite. Alright, uh, Congo, Arm Theft, start with that. I'll leave Fairy Dust because we want to draw through our deck in a minute. Colonel Berry, there we go. One down, do this, do this, no reason to play anything else. Minus two strength is good, there's Bang. Can't use it yet really. Yeah, nothing here draws. Um, let's Evil Within just to do it. Hellforged engine and two artifacting so that makes the follow-up strike worth it um, Nothing else is here Yeah, cuz I can't hurt them take one Okay, there's the berry I mean Glitter guard there's no reason I wish I had a way to conserve some of this We'll switch to mad gremlin and then we'll switch back to shield at the end of the turn, actually. Oh, no, we switched to Wiz. I had that wrong. Okay. Uh, supply shiv. All right, not too bad. Block, block. Did I take damage for some reason? All non-attacks received is reduced by three. No, nah, I guess not. I imagined it, apparently. Uh, 16, 9, 18. I'm going to play it all, so... I thought somewhere that would work out. Pack does not consume whiz. I don't think so. Need debuff? No. We'll just do a bubble barrier. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have. I'm trying to get less skills. Funnel. I think I'd rather have the sapphire key, honestly. I can't break it yet, but once I can. Um, upgraded boss. Yeah. Evil thing is just too good. All right, elite. The head louse. Yeah, handle that. Arm theft. Conga line. Seems like a good just starting move anymore, especially with the fact that um, we get the tin block from the anchor. Seems better. Now I do need some AOE if possible, um, but I don't got it yet. Right, we're gonna evil within first. Automobile Beam actually does it. Lose one energy next turn, I can handle. Unless we got a ton of money for that. And we're gonna strike. Add more weakness to him. And our Poet's Pin. Gives it more chance. Really, we need a big, like, high damage card if we could get it. We're gonna duplicate follow through. Um, do we want a Trixie here too? Why not? And then we'll just do a little bit extra damage with this. Okay. Actually, we're going to do a lot more extra damage. Because he's dead. Fragment grenade. And we do it three. three. That's fine. Upgraded gremlin arms. Also reveal is pretty good. I don't think so. Another duplicate. Yeah. It just has a lot of goodness. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and break this too. Give us all. I'll just have 18 now. Be okay with that. Upgrade that duplicate. Big turn, especially like a turn one, gain a bunch of energy, just I mean a bunch of strength. Build a ton of damage. Also, this makes it more consistent. Arm theft is like glue to our opening hand. Totally fine with that, but. Okay, so, okay. A fairy dust first. A lot of damage coming in to start with. Let's go ahead and tag team into Field. Get some of these wards off. Uh, we need 18 block. I think I can do that. 
Trixie. And um, we are going to start getting some damage off. Evil within on the back line. Last stand. In one strength. Might as well. Alright, we got 24. So, some people are going to die. I didn't realize I'd have more. Whoops. Should have played the strength first. Or I should just count my energy like a normal person. 31, you're about dead. You are dead. Um, I mean, dance. Yep. Doing pretty good. Pinprick. Yes. Card draw, copies, more things to play. Trigger trap, we will... Have to take damage on one of them. Didn't do it. Uh, get box. One rare card to your deck. Um... Whenever you would gain block this turn and still deal that much damage. Flip out. I like the fact that it's mostly just an AoE. Yeah. Actually, just very good. Another follow through. I think this would be the last one we take, but... Works really well. I wish I could see my makeshift armor a little bit more. Ooh. I like that. I've never seen that one. Two by a hundred. That's pretty cool, but... Not... For this. Didn't look at some of these other ones. No. I would remove a card if we had the money for it. Alright. And brick. There's duplicate. I would duplicate dance. Actually, fairy dance first. There's the second duplicate. I can play them both. And just get a ton of value out of it. Actually. I can remove. No, I want to switch to sneaky grip. Okay. Duplicate Gremlin Dance. Okay. We are going to draw a ton of cards. And then we're going to duplicate Follow Through. Okay. Get a bunch of strength off of that. Not bad. I mean, one more turn we should have, have them dead. Ah, uh, well, the confusion might make it a little harder, but one damage... Six times. Uh, give me the block. Prepare crush. That sets me up very good for next turn. Even though we are confused. Slime crush! Nice. Uh, whenever you swap, draw a card. I mean, I swap every turn. Pretty much one additional draw, card draw, but I think it's a little slower than the way we're doing it. And it does not synergize with Poet's Pin at all. Uh, we're going to conga line first. And damage coming in, I really don't want to take. Let's do this. Plays out pretty well, and we're going to start hitting the cultist. And another one, apparently. Yep. Cultist and chosen. Making sure I had their names right. Um, okay. We're going to duplicate follow through. I think these upgraded would be very good. They're dead. Another follow through here. 25, not too bad. Pinprick. We draw another duplicate. I gotta remember if we play pinprick, it ends up doing that. Okay. Uh, arm theft. And we should just be able to offense here. I'll go ahead and do this. They're dead. Yes. Very much so. Ooh, flex. No, it's not an attack. Like, the more things I add to my deck that are not attacks, the more inconsistent my poet's pin is gonna get. On the line. And prick first. Okay. Um, we need more strength. We are sneaky gremlins, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Oh, we can get a bunch of block here. Is that good though? There's a better to play evil within. Block's not gonna matter. We're up to ten. I don't need to gain more. And this will gain us a bunch anyway. Last stand for one strength. Makes us do something. Okay. Not the best turn. But got a lot of setup done. Ooh, they took the duplicate. Do need that. Hmm. Nine coming in. I got the glitter guard and this. Yeah, so we're gonna glitter guard first. Gain the block. Then we're gonna tag team back to sneaky. Then we're gonna duplicate the cat scratch. Um, and then this will give us a good amount of damage to a bunch of them. 
Um, this gives me more defense. He's doing nine already blocked, so hit him again. So poet again. Okay. We have taken more stuff, which is fine. The AOE overall that we have in the deck will circumvent most of this. A lot of damage coming in. We are going to bubble this turn. Oh, and a bunch of shivs. Like that. I'm actually going to kill the top liner. There's the duplicate. Duplicate, follow through. Okay. Dude's got a ton of stuff going on here. But overall, the amount of weakness we're going to apply to this man is going to be great. Um, He's doing 8, 3. Well, this is actually 6. No, it increases. Um, it's not mine. So 3, 5 is 8, 11. We're completely blocked. But overall, it's going to be better to do that. Alright. Not too bad. Mad Gremlin here. Not terrible. Follow through. Let's get the damage going on him. Okay. That's the 9 from the claw. We got the duplicate. We should have duplicated the other follow through. We were that worried about it, but I wasn't really. Oh, we are going to take 9 here. Any way I can block that. No. What I'm going to do is switch to shield. And we're just going to do this. It gives me a little bit. Did that not count as a skill? Am I crazy? Hmm. Yeah, that's a skill. I should have got some block for that. Oh well. I mean, we're not dead. So it, it doesn't matter too much, but... It's the principle. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, bubble. Flip out. We don't actually have that much uh, block to gain this turn. That's fine. Bang should do a bunch. Cat Scratch should do, kill them off. I don't need another flip out. Another conga line does nothing. Well, I think it would switch us twice each turn. But I don't think I need that. I don't really want any of those. Back tick. <sighs> Back tick could give us something that every time we play it. Yeah, yeah. There's actually. Uh, Easy choice here. We want Shuriken. I mean, this is overwhelming choice. Super Snake was I? No two cards. Confused. I don't, I don't. I don't need that. Oh, if I can find Shuriken. Forget you can't scroll to the bottom. And I don't know if these are alphabetical. I wonder if there's a mod to put a search on the back tick. Oh, there it is. Every time we play three attacks, gain one strength. Super good. We're playing a ton of attacks. I'm pretty okay with that. Ah, and we switched to Runa for the last one. Act three. Um, Shock is actually not bad. We're just collecting. I, I do want to really heavily emphasize getting some of these elites done. So we're going to go through a bunch of these. Um, so we will take the early Shock Might as well. Smith, uh, actually on Bubble Barrier, if I'm going to use it, it's got to be upgraded. Um, it's very good, but it needs to be upgraded to be more useful. Early Shop. The first time each turn you have 10 cards in your hand. No. Every time we shuffle, we make our throw our deck pretty quickly. This and a card removal? Oh, I can't. I'm under. That's fine. All right. Flesh Man. Bloodbath. Uh, 15 coming in. Ugh. Not a good hand to start with. I can't kill him in just one turn. I don't think. And I have no block. So we are going to arm theft. I will duplicate follow through. Seems like the best move. And we do do a lot of damage. We're only taking three overall. Oh, this is whenever we play an attack, right? Whenever the creature attacks this turn, take three damage. Yep. So fairy dust, I need, there we go. I just need a bunch of block. Oh, I should have flipped out first. Evil within, I think they're just dead, right? Yep. Um, attack potion is better than smoke bomb. Which I should just be playing more, but. For four damage for each sack weakness, no. 
actually. Or for each stack of whiz. Okay. I think about it. Bubble barrier to start with. Sure. We're gonna conga line this time because we got the energy. It really comes down to any more. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. All of them do that, and we are strength up. Um, the conga line really depends on if we have enough energy to play it at the start of the turn. That's what makes it worth it or not worth it. Oh, the AoE this turn. It's very good. And we are also going to Fairy Dust to start with. AoE. AoE. Um, let's see. Get the wards out. Well, coming in, we are going to take a little bit if I don't kill you. There's the strength. Yeah, you're dead. And the other one's dead. Very nice. Block potion. I think I'll take it over the resurrection. I don't think we're going to need it. Um, I think we're good here. Let's... Evil Within, Conga Line. What do you do again? I'm going to play a card that costs one or less, increases cost by one. That kind of sucks. Okay. We want the energy to start with, I think. Invincible, that's fine. All right. Let them continue. Weight of Sin. Hmm, okay. Want some block here. Tag team into field. We are going to defend. We will end up following through here. Um, Gremlin offense here. There's the whiz. We have nine. I hit them again. Also gives us our shuriken. Very good. Ugh. Ooh, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Um, flip out. Glitter guard. Do this, do this. What is this? Furious. Whenever you gain. Oh, that's what that's called. Okay. Actually, gonna be pretty good here if we can continue to deal damage. Based on that, we're oh we're not gaining any block though. Interesting. Okay. Um, we have one strength. We have duplicate. We have follow through. Bang! It's not going to do it. I need to gain more strength. So we'll duplicate the follow through. We can't play this, but we can continue to gain plenty of strength. Four times four. Another point of strength. Um, go through this. Give. Dude's making everything cost more, but luckily most of this exhausts. Okay, 31. Not too bad. We have a lot done there. Surprisingly also with the flip out. 39 damage. Okay. Well, we can make them lose a lot of strength. I don't think I can kill them though. But, I mean, we're gonna try. Alter, so we're gonna duplicate this again. Yep. Keep rocking their strength down. Down to 20. I wonder if I can just kill them. No. <laughs> uh, just, I can take this for now. Do heal some. Oh, we do kill them. I was like, well, <laughs> I was resigned to take the damage, but that's fine. Works a little better that way. All right, Ice Queen, how do you do? Arm Thief and Conga Line, I mean, seems like a good good way to start off here. Freezing us up. Ooh, pretty good turn here. Um, I gotta decide how I want to do this. We're gonna finish with the Glitter Guard, so we actually can just play almost everything. Air Crush is also very good. And we have two more energy, yep. Same plan, eight. 36 damage to you, and then we're going to guard and block. And if nothing's in our hand, nothing can be frozen. Right, there's the slime crush. Didn't think about that. Oh, they only go down by one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I thought I was being sneaky. Uh, 24 damage coming in. Sucks. A lot. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to hit them a bunch. Wards. We will play one of the slime crushes here. Got some souls for something. And for it froze our hand. Oh, we are not blocking anything. That 
does suck. We are gonna we are we'll lose our gremlin here. Messed that one up pretty bad. Okay. Um, I kind of just want to gremlin offense all this. So we'll cast scratch first. And then we're just going to hit them with the same card a bunch of times. Okay. That works. It's like the languid would have actually been better to try to save my gremlin, but... I think they're just dead here. Do it like this. And then, there we go. Misplay on my part, but that's fine. We will get a rest for a revival down here. We go through the, to that shop one more time. No. We'll do that. Still glove. Not that great. Okay. This one's always weird too. Jungle line duplicate. 17 coming in. Got a pretty good line this time. We're gonna start off with follow through. Okay, weaken him pretty well. Um, no, we're gonna conga line. We do want to keep that going. Alright, ow. There's the dazzled. And we need to hit hit this one first. Something like a pinprick. Very good, okay. Play the dazzled, I don't want to deal with that. 12 coming in. Uh, I will... Fairy Dust. Okay. Uh, we will tag team into shield. I will go for the arm theft and the makeshift armor here. And then the big the big block. We should take no damage. More dazzled. Really annoying. This fight definitely is an endurance battle. 999, we need to hit you. So we dazzled first. Roll up. Give on you. You are out of the, out of the mix. Um, I do want a block. So, evil within. Guardian world. Ten or more block. Deal eleven to all. Do have that. So let's go ahead and try that out for size. Double whirl here. Uh, we will go with this shiv. Whenever you would gain block. I think I'd rather just block honestly. I was considering it, but. Honestly, flip out's not been that good for us. So I think using it as an AoE just makes sense. I need to poke this one in the front. Oh, a hand of mostly dazzled. Kind of stinks. I do want them out, though. An 11 to me. I don't very much like. That's a languid. Take some healing. I wish the nine. Oh, it is not directed at me. It was directed at one of these. Can tell. Another hand of all dazzles. Lovely. Uh, but we have plenty of energy this time. Uh, does this count? It does. That's what I wanted. Um, cat scratch here. Then we're just gonna draw four and keep. It's fine. We will take thirteen though. It does suck. Overall, we're not able to do much damage. Um, with all the dazzle and crap we're getting in our deck. Okay. Finally a decent, decent hand. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna flip out first. That solves that problem. We're gonna duplicate follow through here. We will get this one to fend off. And then I am just gonna go in for damage this time. 79, he's down to 12. Fine. And he's dead, actually. Our, our, our little bird friends helped us. Okay, Tiger Marble, Emerald Key. Um, Twist of the Knife is pretty good. Another another thing to cast. Another attack to cast, actually. A Shield. Honestly, Duplicating Twist of the Knife seems like the best one. So this one's... Six cards in a turn, end your turn. We've played one. That actually makes this much worse. Okay, we played four. 14 coming in. I want to defend some if I can. I can't, actually. I'm actually just going to conga line here. And then we'll let the turn in. So take four. 
Well, in time, these are all draw one card. Yeah, I need this dude dead. Makeshift armor is pretty good. Six cards. Um, makes duplicate way harder to justify here. I can't even duplicate anything right now. We're going to guard. All right. Two more. Ow. 18 from you. Ugh. That's pretty good. Don't do blast. 15 twice kills you. All right. Now that we're free, we can actually like go through and do stuff. Um, stolen times are good now. Play out two wards. I scroll a bunch of shivs. Yep. Ooh, flip outs played also off the poet's pen, which also messes up my uh, messes up my uh, math a lot of the times. Okay, we're gonna go here. All gremlins lose one HP. Yesterday's promise. Whenever you have unsufficient energy to play a card, you may instead pay five HP for every missing energy. <sighs> Reject the contract. I mean, I kind of just want it because I don't think I've seen it. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we are going to break. We are going to rest. And we get our gremlins back. And everyone's at mostly full HP. Pretty nice. Runic Akasahedron. We'll use it. I think we will go to that shop. Lose one trade, a special relic. Well, that's your card. I'll take that too. Give me that bear. And then I'm actually just going to go. Oh, but. Start a combat. Honestly, actually, this is better. I was going to. Yeah, we can't steal the rug because it's broken. Um, I was going to think about removing a card, but. Cards. Each, uh, each turn you can pay for one. The next turn's energy, that's also kind of... I don't know how that works, but... Yeah, starting turn five, six... Six energy on turn one. Allows us to play our Congo. And our first turn is very impactful, I feel like. Like... Contract. Oh, that's just like a status that we have on all of our cards now? Interesting. I was making sure we just weren't paying energy by accident. Okay, I do have to watch my energy because we can, can continuously. We have two of these now. Yeah, now I, I'm out of energy, so whatever I do will cost life. Interesting. If I had like potato or something where I can't take damage, then we could just do that forever and win, I think. If my math is correct. Now we're gonna unforgive, we are going to dance. Okay. I think 13. Did he have artifacting? I just missed it. Last stuff. Do this. And we're also going to roll this dice. Yeah, 100 souls. Nice. I don't want to take damage, though. So. I'm going to skip. Ow. Alright. Evil Within. Pretty good. Three effects from the Fabled Spinner. Pin Prick. Um, if I duplicate follow through, I could probably just win, right? Yeah. That's the end. I think I'm good here. All right, watcher. Let's see what we can do here. Secret technique: put a skill from your draw pile into your hand. Give me fairy dust, I think. Um, gains one mantra every time I play a card. That's also gross. Um, I'm have to do. And how much did I lose? Lose five at the end of the turn. Okay. But really, I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to hold here. Yep. The so ten cards. So if I'm gonna go all out, I need to keep my arm thief. Whiz, I guess. And then flip out just to do it. Okay. That would have been 25 damage, actually. Probably should have done that. Okay. Oh, 28. That's a lot of damage going on. I kind of, like... The problem is I want to, like, lay into them. I'm going to get them to 10 no matter what. So, 
really I should just try to kill them quickly. Like 28 is going to kill me. I'm just going to let them go into the divinity and let one of my minions probably die here more than likely. But I can see if I can just kill them. How much the beam's free? Like just lay in full caveman. Okay. Now the question is, how many times do I have to do this to kill him? I get one strength per, actually, what's this do? I frail, even better. Okay. Ow. One gremlin down. <laughs> Still in divinity too. All right, we need to do this. There's a fault. There's the free follow through, which I should wish I would have got a chance to upgrade, but I mean, they can't double divinity. So, I mean, I think I just win. Losing one man, actually not too terrible. Proceed here. Uh, I mean, we just want the short one, which we definitely don't have the the key for. What do we get here? Heal thirty five. Prepare myself. Um, oh wait, we can actually. I think we've done this before. You can't do this one because it starts backwards. Can I go save and quit? Yes. And then try it again. Continue. Oh, we have to do the whole watcher fight again. That's annoying, but probably worth a double brain. Okay. We know we're just going to set her off. Really rage break in the deck. Not this turn though. Okay. Arm thief. Um, let's go to oh, wizard here. I'm gonna gain some whiz. I'm gonna hit them. All through. Okay. Then I went to wizard. Apparently I did something wrong there. Yeah, I think this is yeah this is the turn I tried going nutso. Fine, not really the. Let's do this. Oh, I've run the three rare cards by him. I mean, double flip out. Uh, I don't think that changes. Let's do a fairy dust to get any more draw. Yep, okay. Gain some block. Figure out what we're going to duplicate here. Um. Yeah, nothing looks that great. There's a follow through. That's what I'd want to duplicate. All right, follow through, follow through, follow through again. Okay, twist of the knife, follow through. I'm out of energy technically now. Maybe I waited one more turn. I can't tell. I felt like I had more energy, like took them down a little bit farther with my attacks. Okay. We do have more block than I did last time. I wonder if I played flip out is the reason. These do 16. Uh, yep. All right. Here's where Gremlin, Gremlin died. Okay. And then we should win on this turn, but I don't, I feel like they are still got a lot of energy left. A lot of health. I felt like we got them way farther down. I could just be misremembering, but. Nope. I guess we didn't. So. That works out. All right, so we can't do this one. Uh, approach the heart. Something evil. Give. Give the souls back. We're in for once more. Okay, this is the normal ending. And I'm totally fine with that. So, again, thank you very much, guys, for watching. That was a fun one. A lot more interesting than I think the last one we did. I think we actually went a little bit farther. So, uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.